as the managerial tassel for who becomes the next head coach of the Black Stars continues, uh, there's that small matter of the World Cup qualifiers in case our leaders have forgotten versus Nigeria in March. Well, the venue was purported to be the Cape Coast Sports Stadium initially. And then the National Sports Authority wrote to the Ghana Football Association that the Cape Coast Sports Stadium will be used for Independence Day celebrations and that in that respect uh, they needed to look for either the Babaira Sports Stadium or the Accra Sports Stadium to play that game versus Nigeria. Well, uh, GFA did write to the Confederation of African Football who have subsequently uh, rejected the change of venue. They insist that it cannot be done. We'll look at that letter from the Confederation of African Football stating why and the Ghana Football Association cannot play that game versus Nigeria in Masi Babayara Sports Stadium. We are also going to talk about Ghanaian player Kelvin Yabua, nephew of Tony Yabua, uh, Yagola, as he's probably known, uh, chose to play for Italy instead of the Black Stars. Siki Akono's time, he called him up to the national team, and unfortunately, he decided to go with the Azuri, a youth team. We'll hear what he had to say on his reasons for choosing Italy over Ghana. As usual, subscribe if you have not, and click on the notification bell to get more updates. So the venue for the next World Cup qualifying round has been confirmed. All the matches that will be played between the 10 countries has been confirmed. But Ghana's own had a bit of an issue. The National Sports Authority made GFA aware that the Ghana Black Stars game versus Nigeria, which was scheduled to take place at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium, cannot take place because the Cape Coast Sports Stadium will be used for Independence Day celebrations. Well, the GFA obliged to spoke to CAF in a letter, and CAF have replied that they have rejected that change of venue. It cannot be possible for them to take that change because the Barbara Sports Stadium will not be able to host the game per CAF. They said that FIFA preliminary World Cup competition regulations in its Article 21 venues, kickoff times and training sessions stipulate that the venues of matches shall be set by the host association and or by the confederation as applicable and the matches may only be played in stadiums that have been inspected and approved by confederation consent. The opponents and the FIFA general secretariat shall be notified by the host association and or by the confederation as applicable at least three months before the match in question is due to be played. The 24th of December 2021 was the deadline set by CAF for the participation national association to select and communicate to CAF their preferred venue for the playoff round of the FIFA World Cup qualifiers Africa Qatar 2022. On 23rd of December 2021, GFA informed CAF that Cape Coast Stadium was the venue selected for the playoff round of the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. Based on the venue selection received from each of the participating national associations, CAF has timely concluded the assessment of the selected stadium and communicated to FIFA the venue decisions for the upcoming FIFA World Cup qualifier playoffs. Considering that the match day is in less than 30 days, CAF is not in position to delay any further the confirmation of match venues. As you are aware, the selection of the venue, respective date and time of the match has to be set well in advance, having a direct impact on the preparation of match logistics and operations by all the concerned parties. Uh, besides, please note that Kumasi Sports Stadium is currently non-homologated by CAF to host international matches since it has been under renovations and no CAF inspection was communicated to the stadium to reassess the level of stadium compliance. Considering the above, the request of change of venue is not accepted. Hence, the Ghana vs Nigeria playoff round of 16 FIFA World Cup qualifiers should be maintained at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. In case your association reiterate the position to change the venue since there is no other approved venue in Ghana, your national team will be requested to play that FIFA qualifier, World Cup qualifier playoff round in an approved venue outside its territory. And the venue must be selected 
from among the stadiums approved by CAF. So that's the letter there presented to the Ghana Football Association who presented a new venue in Babaya Sports Stadium to Confederation of African Football. As you heard there clearly stated, CAF have to be informed three months ahead of time, which is 90 days. So on the 23rd, GFA told CAF, CAF, we will use Cape Coast Sports Stadium for the playoffs. And now 30 days to the game, you are telling CAF that, nope, we want to change the venue from Cape Coast to Kumasi. CAF has said the last time they checked even Kumasi Sports Stadium, Babaira, it was not up to the standard and it was undergoing renovation work. And even now, it's too late for that to happen. So they will go ahead in Cape Coast or the venue will be changed outside of Ghana, approved venue by FIFA or CAF. So that is how we find the position we find ourselves in now. The game will go ahead in Cape Coast. And the National Sports Authorities uh, talk about the venue being used for Independence Day celebrations. Uh, it's moot now because uh, I think they'll have 18 days after the Independence Day celebration to prepare their plays. I think that should be adequate time for them to prepare for that qualifier game versus Nigeria. So either we play in Cape Coast or we play in another venue outside of Ghana that has been approved by CAF and that is CAF's final stance on that. I think Cape Coast should be worked on after the celebrations immediately so that it can be ready for that game between Ghana and Nigeria. That is the news on that front. Uh, my next story has to do with Kelvin Yeboah. Yes, a Black Stars uh, bound player who decided to choose Italy over Ghana. He has stated in this interview for his new club Genoa, he was with Storm Graz uh, before he made that switch in terms of nationality to play for the Azzurri under 21 side for the Azzurri. He spoke uh, with uh, uh, Calcio News 24. He said, I arrived in Italy when I was two. I grew up in Italy and I feel Italian. I started playing in the youth sectors of Novara and Gozano. When, then I went to London to West Ham where I decided to move to Austria uh, to start from the Austrian Serie B to go up more and more. And now the Genoa challenge, challenging and fascinating. Uh, we need the right energy, he said. He returned to Italy in the winter transfer window after an explosive first half of the season with Austrian size Stam Graz. So clearly he feels more Italian, something similar to what Ignacio Williams had said in an interview uh, about why he felt that him playing for Ghana probably was not the right thing for him to do. So that has been it for today. Baba Era Sports Stadium is out, Cape Coast Sports Stadium it is, or a neutral venue outside of Ghana. And also we'll be talking about Kelvin Lebois on why he probably chose Italy over Ghana. He feels more Italian because he grew up mostly there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the week. <music>